Hey folks, welcome back. This is Steve with Nonprofit Ally and we are headed into lesson six of the how to build your nonprofit website in one day. So it, your site should be looking pretty good. When you preview this site, you have a, a, the color scheme is going, you got your images in there and some content. There is a, uh, there's one space in the, that website page that's kind of missing right now and that's where the posts go or your latest news or your updates or whatever you want to call it. So that's what we're going to learn today. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey everyone, welcome back. So we're gonna continue on with developing our nonprofit website. So, so far this is the site we have and I'm just gonna scroll down here real quick and kinda we'll, we'll skim through it. Um, but we've done the, the what we do in our mission area. We've done a few call to actions. There's our board. Here's some testimonials from what people are saying. And then here, the news and events area, which is um, only populated now with sample text that got installed when we installed WordPress. Um, this is the area we will be working on today. And then scroll down, there's the contact. So let's go ahead and log in. I'm going to switch tabs here. And we're going to log into the back end of our website. And we are going to add what's called POST, P-O-S-T. To our, to our web page. All right, so we're in the back end here. On the left-hand side, you'll see right away, um, there are, is the post section for adding your content. And what we're gonna do is we are just, uh, actually, I'm just gonna click this, um, this link here. You can click the all post link. Both, both of these go to the same place. We're just gonna go there. So you can see a listing of the post, and right now there is only one called Hello World that is the sample post. So we're gonna add a new one, and there's a couple ways to do it. There is a link to the left in the main navigation. There's also a link at the top of this page. Click either of those, and you will be in the new post area. This is a pretty straightforward process. Basically, you type the name of your post here. Down below in this area, you put the content, the actual message you're gonna be putting onto the post, um, whatever it is that you're gonna be adding. And then on the right-hand side, there's some uh, options over here, and we're gonna uh, go through this step by step. So right now, we're just gonna, our, our post here is gonna be announcement, um, and it's going to be a uh, welcome new board members, right? So let's say we just had a board meeting and we have some new members. Once we have that title of our post up, we can go ahead and in the content area. I have some content all ready to go, so I'm just gonna paste it in. Of course, that is uh, Latin. And so what you have here, when you put the content in here, up above, you have sort of what's called a, a WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get area. Similar to uh, what you would get with a, a word processing program like Word. And so in here, like, let's say these are bullet points here. So if I wanted to make these paragraphs, I can go back through here. I have to um, do a quick adjustment to the text I pasted. Those are breaks, not paragraphs. Now they're paragraphs. I can select them and I can, uh, let's say, bullet point. Maybe these are bullet points. And so I'll go like that. And now I have bullet points. You can bold stuff. So maybe I want this first part here to be bolded and um, et cetera. But you can play with these settings here. And you can add links, you can add images, all sorts of stuff. Now, over here on the right-hand side, this is where it gets somewhat important, right? We are going to, um, we're going to leave all these settings up here the same. This is just kind of, if you wanted to um, publish this in the future, maybe you wrote this now, but you didn't, didn't want it to publish until Friday or Monday or whatever, you could actually set the publish date over here. Um, down here, I always leave this just that standard. It, it tends to be the, uh, the the safest route. I'm never sure what I'm going to get if I use some of these other formats. And categories. Now, this is important. We're gonna actually going to add a category. There's a couple ways to add them. We're going to add them both ways. And right now, we're just going to add... <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to add a new category. We're going to call it Latest News. So I'm going to click on this, Add New Category, Latest News. I'm going to type in Latest News and I am going to add this new category. And so, and then you check that category. Now, by default, if you remember, when we set up our site, our settings in the settings area over here, we wrote, we put in there that any, our default category is going to be uncategorized. So if you forget to check this, then it will be uncategorized, which is not a huge deal. You can always fix it later. 
And you can scroll down, you can add tags. We're not gonna worry about that, but we are going to add the featured image. This is important and you'll see why in a second. So featured image, we go here, we select the featured image. We're back in our media library, which we've all seen before. And new board members, um, let's see. I don't have a great image for that. Let's just use, um, we'll just use these kids. Why not for our new board members? Um, and we will set that as our featured image. Of course, I could have uploaded a new image and have done it that way, but um, just to save time. All right, so then all I do is publish this post, and I'm gonna go publish. Once it's published, I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna switch over to our, our main page. I'm gonna switch tabs here. I am going to refresh this page, and we should see a new post being added to our front page here. So as we scroll down, once this is done loading or refreshing, so if we scroll down here, we're going down and, and now we have, there's that post we just put in there, right? So there is the new post, latest news and events. There's the old one, we haven't deleted that one yet. I'll show you how to do that real quick, as, um, as well as how to add your um, categories in another way. So let's go on back to our front end again or I'm sorry, to our back end, switch tabs here. So this is great, we've just added this new post. So over on the left hand side, you have all posts, which is a list of all your posts, add new, which is what we just did, and then there's categories. I'm gonna click on this. And in here, you can see there's that latest news category we already added. And you can also, you can add, if you think you're gonna have a lot of different categories, and I'll show you um, in a second, you'll see where these categories show up. But maybe you have an events and you have latest news and maybe your director publishes something every other week. So you might have uh, the director's report. You can have categories for everything. Don't go crazy with the categories because um, it's better to, uh, to economize your categories. But we are gonna put um, events on here. Um, since we are not installing an events calendar, we will just have events. We'll add that category. And then you'll see over here on the right hand side, events shows up as one of our categories. So cool, let's add another new post and we'll make it an event. So add new. And we'll just call this event one. And I do have some filler text for this event. We'll paste that in here. We're not gonna worry about um, bolding anything or anything like that. We'll leave all of this the same. In the categories area, I'm going to check events because this is an event and I'm gonna give it a featured image. Now remember that featured image is important. If you go back to um, the front page, let me here quick quickly do a picture here. We'll say uh, our event is going to be walking the, the streets of um, our neighborhoods. So it's a walking tour. I guess that is what that image says. In any case, um, and we will publish this, we're set. We have our title, we have our content, we have our category selected, our featured image, we will publish this. Now I go back to uh, the front page of this. Let me refresh this again because it is, we've added new content, so I'm gonna refresh. All right, now I'm gonna scroll on down and we're gonna see that we now have three different one to and again the hello world which we are going to delete here in a second so there are our two events or our two posts our news and events here and the the one we're going to delete soon and you can see that featured image is important because this is where it shows up now you may be wondering great what happens when i click on this well let's go ahead and do that we'll click on one of these and we'll see what this looks like so here is the welcome new board member post that we just did and here is the content here that i added to uh, this post, including the bullets and the bolding. The right hand side, now we have some control over this and this will be in a later lesson. This is the widgets area. Your sidebar is full of widgets. And some of these we're gonna get rid of because it's not necessary. Um, others, like the categories, this is where your this is where the categories show up. There's events, there's latest news. Of course, there's uncategorized. That is a default category that you can't get rid of. If I had, um, Basically, if I had multiple events and someone wanted to just see all of our events, they would just click on this and that would go to the events archive page and they would see a listing, in this case only one because we've only posted one, but if there was more, there would be a listing here of all the events. Same with latest news. If they went to the latest news category, 
they'd be on the latest news page and they would see a listing of all the latest news. This is WordPress does this automatically for you. It is just beautiful. So, um, so it makes it easy for you to add content. And as long as you categorize it, it gets organized very, very well. Now to go back to the home page, since we don't have a menu, and again, the menu comes in a later lesson, um, we are going to return to our home page by simply going up to the logo here, which is always a kind of a hot, hot link to our main page. So now we're back on the front page. We can scroll down. And our page is is um is really getting populated with some good content, and it looks beautiful. Let's go ahead and delete the hello world um, text that they gave us. So we're going to go back to the back end. We're going to go into all post. Once they're in there, here is a listing of all the posts that we've put on this page, the things that show up in our news events section. Here is Hello World. Now, if I just scroll over that, you can see I get the option to trash this, and that is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to trash it. And you'll also see that um, now I have the option up here to see all my posts, just the published post and the trashed ones. It's so it's a safety mechanism. It is not gone. It's kind of like the recycle bin on your computer. You throw it out, but you actually have to throw it out again. So that's what we're going to do. There's Hello World. I'm going to delete it permanently. And there it is. It's gone. Okay, folks. So we just added some posts and some categories and uh, some featured images for each of those posts. And the site is really starting to look great. All right. Next, folks, donation page. It's a plugin, so we're going to learn a little bit about plugins. We're going to add our donation page, and then after that, we'll do our menus, and our site will be complete. Good work, folks. Until then, we'll see you soon.